Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, your titular first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and a viewer submitted title Silver Screen Sightseer. Appropriate, mm -hmm. yes. I, I thought so. <laughs> uh, that one was submitted by the Wing Kong Exchange. You two can submit titles by dropping them in the comments below. And of course, the most important person, Pippin. He's, yes, I'm talking about you. Uh, he's our cat. Uh, he's orange and he's great. Uh, he also likes naps. He naps up here and he naps everywhere else too. So if he disappears, that's where he went. For those of you joining us for the first time, hello. What we're doing here is watching our way through a very long list of movies that typically I've never mm -hmm. seen, but that Matthew has. I know that this movie is one of our Just Some Super Fan Patreon picks. Matthew, what is the movie we're watching? Uh, today we are watching the 2004 comedy Euro Trip. And as per usual, I give you the year, genre, and title. You go in whatever you already know about the movie, and then we watch it and review it. So what do you know about Euro Trip? Uh, had it compared to like American Pie, I've seen Road Trip. Okay. Well, this is uh, made by the same production company. Oh, okay. So. Well, that's good. Okay. So I think I get the vibe for it and they're in Europe. So that was why I picked this uh, title. I was like, Sightseer. Yeah, that's what you do in Europe. <laughs> it makes sense to me. I don't know who's in it. Um, it, That's that's about it. I know the vibe of it. So yeah, that's that. All right. <laughs> well, I'm a, yeah, I'm actually very interested to watch this one because I probably haven't seen it in close to 15 years, probably. Okay. So I'm interested to see if it still holds up or if it's as funny as I remember it being. Okay. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, the only other thing for first time viewers, you may see me on my phone in my hand at some point during the movie. That's because I'm taking notes on things to talk about afterwards. And with that being said, I'm ready to watch the movie. Mm -hmm, let's go. Is this French? My generation. I like it. Oh. <laughs> As you said, you've seen American Pie and Road Trip, so that's, you you understand that's That's actually why I chose this one. Uh, <laughs> this is my Lisa Frank dick mug. I think you may actually have to blur that out on YouTube. I don't know. Nah, it's fine. Vinnie Jones. Lucy Lawless? Woo! <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh, damn, this is hitting hard. That's a year before I graduated. <laughs> Fiona. Scott, we need to talk. Oh, dear. About me dumping you. Scott, I just can't take all the lying and cheating on each other anymore. Wait, I never cheated on you. I know, that's what makes this so hard. <gasps> oh! You're just so predictable. Oh, my God. I, I got to say, when she said, you're just so predictable, I would have punched her in the tit and then be like, did you see that coming? <laughs> Dear Scott. Happy Herzlichen. Uh. Are you still writing that guy? I thought that was just for German class. He's a really cool guy. Dear Mike. Scotty. Girl Scouts have pen pals. Leave Scotty alone. He's doing great. Next thing you know, he's going to want to arrange a meeting uh, where he will gas you and stuff you in the back of his van and make a wind chime out of your genitals. <gasps> wow, that's creative. Did you ever have a pen pal? No. Okay. You know I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> What's up, Jay? What's oh! up? Michelle Trachtenberg. 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 There's got to be a hundred drunk girls here, and we should be trying to have sex with every one of them. No, I'm you, a girl. You can have sex with them. Where's your evil twin brother at? Jenny? Oh, what an angel. Why don't you get me gin and tonic? I hate gin. You do? You guys are the worst twins ever. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta piss like a pregnant woman. Hey, listen up, everybody. From what I've heard, they do have to pee now, a lot. Thing I'd like to do tonight. Play <gasps> oh my god, Matt Damon! Freakiest little sex puppet I know. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Matt Damon, no! This was the moment I was waiting for. I am dead. Also, I own that exact necklace. <laughs> uh, wait, Candy, well, before you go, uh, you might want to clean that off. It's like uh, dirt or something. Go like this. Stop it. <sighs> the top is 
getting in the way. Candy. Really? Oh, Candy. <laughs> Dude? Shit. Oh god. Lana, no. I mean, I get it. 10 out of 10 would smash that particular iteration of Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. Well, there we go. Classy. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, mother! Stop it. Arrange our meeting. Oh come on, Cooper was right. This guy wants to have sex with me. You sick German freak! So, oh no! So please keep your hands off of my genitals. <gasps> I can't believe this German chick wants to come here and hook up with you. That's a picture of Mike, and that's his cute cousin Jan. Jan, a man's name. It's Mika, a common German girl's name. I hope you wrote her back and told her to come and visit. Me. You fool! <laughs> no! Oh wow, oh, we went there, huh? All right. Lana, why? I'm remembering that right. She was Lana Lane in Smallville. I don't know. She blocked her email account. Her phone number's not listed. The only thing I mean, knows that she lives in Berlin. So go to Berlin. Use another email address. No, no, no. <laughs> In the movie, right there. No, no. The movie has to happen. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. <laughs> going to be couriers? It's the best way to get a cheap flight. I don't have anything to German. Is that a real service? Uh, I don't know. But I can get you both to London today for $118. We'll take it. Did y'all talk to your parents? <laughs> Again, you're thinking I'm sorry. way I too deep I'm so about sorry. this. I'm so sorry. These kids I mean, have to get to Europe. Listen, I'm here for this. Uh, Soundtrack? Yeah. Thanks for coming with me. I know you had that internship at the law firm this summer. Well, forget about the law firm. I like that the headrest looks like croissants. <laughs> now you can't unsee it. Oh, what is it? Uh, it's, it's the phone they gave me at the law firm. Hello, Mr. Walters. Uh, yes, sir, I'm down to file storage. Oh! Didn't tell your boss you were leaving the country. No. They would have stopped paying me. Oh! <laughs> oh, well! <laughs> Soccer hooligans. <laughs> Soccer hooligans? I mean, it's correct. Oi! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm surprised you're surprised. I pointed him out in the credits. I didn't. I, <laughs> I derped. Watching the Manchester United football team. Ah, the best freaking team in all the land. Woohoo! Woohoo! Pretty damn good. <laughs> no. <laughs> so now we're gonna add Green Street Hooligans to the list. Sorry, all I can hear is he dodges bullets, Savvy. Oh, where y'all? Wild night. You think? If you're not a mank, you're a wank. Okay. There you go. Honey, where's Scotty? Cooper said they were going camping. That's nice. Oh. And where's Bert? Fuck if I know. <laughs> where are we going? We're going to see the mighty Reds through the frogs in Paris. And we boys. Yay. Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> <laughs> the swamp donkey a sack it before I give it a trunk in the tradesman's entrance and have a lick me yarbles. <laughs> I really wish I had a beer. Like, this makes me want to drink. <laughs> Not in a bad way, just like, want a bevy with the boys, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Hang on now. Garlic bread's great. <laughs> what is that, a new camera? This isn't just a camera. This is a Leica M7. Spent the last four years tutoring a lacrosse player just to pay for it, so nobody touches my camera. I love this little guy. Leave him alone. He's a champion. Yeah, this guy is really creeping me out. 
Oh. Robot man? He's just trying to feed his robot family. His robot family. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Turf war. Oh no! Robo shove. A weird, low-budget sci-fi version of Kung Fu Hustle. I love it. I love this. Oh, you kicked him for real, Dick. Low blow, literally. Yes. <laughs> You better let me hold on to those. This guy's got it figured out. It's a traveler's money belt. Fromer says as long as you have one of these, no one can rob you of anything. Except your dignity. <laughs> no, just put that in your... <laughs> Baby angel. Oh. I believe this is yours. Oh. <laughs> My name is Crystal. Yeah, it is. Hey, let's go! He gonna kidnap you. We got a taken situation. You think so? I don't know. I find if you make a lot of bold assumptions, eventually one of them will land. Oh, okay. Broken <laughs> clock and all that. Just twice shotgun a day. in it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit, it's a really catchy tune. Scotty, Scotty doesn't, doesn't know. know. Scotty <laughs> doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. <laughs> Fred Armisen. Yes. Yeah. Oh. All right. God, he plays weird so well. Oh boy. Oh. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Big tunnel. Oh God. Uh uh. You are excused. What's there to see in this town? Uh, hello. The monument to Poissonnier. Fromer says it's supposed to be quite moving. What the hell is Ooh. wrong with you, C3PO? Cooper, I hope you get your comeuppance. Look, we can't all just lie around all day. We've got to <laughs> get out. Ah. Uh. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Girls here's just guys like us looking for nude girls. I yeah. don't understand. Grand Sumer has one of the best nude beaches on the continent. However, uh-huh. All the European women are chased away by gawking male tourists. Ah. Uh. So head to the deserted beach right next to the Monument de Poissonnière. <gasps> Titties! <laughs> Enjoy editing this. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. I'm just going to blur the whole thing. That's the only way. Mhm. <laughs> No, 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 Jenny, Jenny, you gotta, you gotta cover up. Cover up, cover up, cover up. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I hate it. Run. <laughs> oh, no. It's so floppy. Night of the living old wings. You'll show up and sweep her off her German feet. I will, won't I? <laughs> Aw. Oh boy. I just wish someone would show up and sweep me off my German feet. <laughs> you are here now. I've been saving myself for you. Titties. This movie is chock full of yes. titties. Just rotten with them. Just <laughs> what a what an awful descriptor of titties. Stop it. <laughs> of course, it's Germany. Who else would be singing? I want a hamburger now. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound good. Oh no! He's back! Believe no, stop it! <laughs> Did not consent. Fuck off. Oh, he's good. No! No! Ah! <laughs> We're in Amsterdam. This is a drug and sex capital of Europe. Club Vander Sex. Oh, yeah. Bloodhound Gang. Oh, man, I've not heard that in a long time. I'm going to have so many songs stuck in my head. Welcome Oof. to Club Vander Sex. There she is. Amsterdam's most erotic club. 
where your every fantasy will be fulfilled. It already has. But you can come with me. Let the thunder sex begin. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy Lawless is just just beautiful. Yes. Don't worry. Hash brownies are totally legal here. You're gonna enjoy these ones. These are magical. <laughs> I was going to step up back and have a cigarette. Would you like to join me? I don't smoke. Neither do I. Oh. Oh. Hold on, hold on. What is it? This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just got to stop and appreciate. Yeah. Sometimes we find that our clients are so overwhelmed with the pleasure that they sometimes scream out no, when really they mean yes. That's why you have safe words. And this is why we have the safe word. <laughs> oh God! We have a safe word. We will not stop. We're we'll going to start that. slowly. It was a little light okay. erotic oh. foreplay. Light. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm <laughs> nervous. On on, thunder, sex. Yeah. Administer the testicle clamps! A little light foreplay. Fuga f f Fuga! Come up and you, you know what? Thank you, yes. Shut the hell up! Oh brother, please don't hurt me. Oh no, 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 you you're fine. That's good. Hey! I know the guy. Mm, DJ Bader. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, I can't breathe. Oh, oh, I'm freaking out. with your mom? No. Things all right. You sold us a bad batch of hash brownies. You're a bad, bad Rastafarian. Bad Ra I'm Not hash brownies. Hmm? Yeah. We do not serve hash brownies here. We are simply Dutch bakery. <laughs> Did you say Flugel came home? Yes, yes. For the love of God. <laughs> Oh, oh. Wait, what? Oh, wow. No, 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 no. <laughs> I wish we had a sponsorship with Adam and Eve for this. <laughs> mm. Come up it. <laughs> That's me. Uh, duh. What do you mean you never got the Guterman file? Well, I told uh, Humphrey to give it to you. This job's killing me. <laughs> I speak bad German. I speak bad German. Hello. 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 Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Uh, do we see in voice Berlin? Berlin? Hey, klar kann ich Berlin. Ich habe meine alte abgeschaut in Bahn. Ah! Wieder nach Berlin. But I'm going nowhere near Berlin. Berlin. He's going to Berlin. Awesome! Lars. Berlin wird mich jemals hier in Bratislava finden. Bratislava? Bratislava? Yeah. Good luck, gang. Excuse me. Do I speak any English? <gasps> you are Americans? You motherfucker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. Cut bullet tooth Tony and Boris the bullet dodger. God, this movie has everything. We've got to figure something out. How much money do we have? A dollar and eighty-three cents American. What are we gonna get with that? Oh God! <laughs> so we got twenty-seven cents left. What is there to do in this town? Oh. Scotty doesn't know. <laughs> it's a catchy song. International edition. And yes, you will be singing it for like weeks now. My name is Crystal. Christoph. <laughs> Spend the day sunbathing, drinking wine. My wife makes the best sangria. What? So you just go around Europe sleeping with every woman you meet? No, please, Jennifer. It is not like that. I also sleep with men. All right. You got to diversify that portfolio, baby. I got to say, I'm not feeling anything. I think neither. Silver as a judge. How about you? I'm not feeling a goddamn thing. <laughs> hey, so oh. where's Kristoff? Shut up. Oh, no, honey. How could this go poorly? Oh, wait. 
Oh no. Baby's hooking up with another girl. God damn it. It's been all over the place looking for crazy European sex and he's the one who ends up getting <gasps> Oh my god. No. You guys are the worst twins ever. No. Well, his name is Jamie. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Time to go push a kid out a window. Yeah. Yeah. Go drink some more. You make great decisions. Shame. Sh shame. <laughs> shame. <laughs> hey. This is Mika's apartment building. Oh, that's not creepy at all. You'll do great, Scotty. Scotty doesn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Mika's not here. This tour group goes to the Vatican tomorrow, then she gets on that boat and she's gone. I'm going to Rome, but I'm gonna get to Mika somehow. Maybe that'll help. <gasps> you did not. Where's your Leica? Sold it. Oh. You're too good for this I was just gonna say. No potente entrare. This entrance is for private tour groups only. The Vatican? has been used as a papal residence ever since the time of Emperor Constantine the Great in the 5th century AD. Yay! Fun facts! How big is Vatican City? 0.5 square kilometers. Who built the colonnade? Gian Lorenzo Bernini, 1656. Uh, where are the bathrooms? Floors 2, 6, and 7. Oh, wow. See? It pays off to read. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what is that? It doesn't do anything. It's a rope. <laughs> the Pope is dead! Terrible. Let's go. We're definitely not supposed to be in here. Hey, check this out. I'm the Pope. The Pope makes a ten point conversion. Oh gosh. And the heathens, nothing. <gasps> oh, holy shit. Ooh. Put it in the fireplace. Oh no, no, the white smell. Oh no, 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 no. They've elected the new Pope. Oh my god. And you got over the death of the last one real quick. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. Mika! Wow. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> big, big trouble. Oi! Oh, man, just Take your mitts off them boys! <laughs> Scott Thomas. I came here to be with you. I love you, Mika. Oh. So what do you think? I think you're crazy. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, the oh special, very special circle. Inhale, just for y'all. You're the young man who just gave me that tour of the Vatican, aren't you? I've just read Fromers enough to have it memorized. That's my guy. Romers is going to pay me to see every museum and cathedral in Europe. Hey, that's all. Awesome. I'm so happy for you, baby. Hello, Mr. Walters. Please be fired. Fired? Well, Thank you. I, if, well, if that's what you want. Goodbye, sir. They had to catch you eventually, right? Yeah. No, they fired Humphrey. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Mm -mm. Three months later. Okay. What? They gonna be banging. You think so? How is this possible? I guess they thought I was a guy. Ah! Scotty doesn't know that the only ending is happy ending. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I got a hair and one strand at this time. Pull it out. <laughs> Go on, you French bastards! Get on the other side of the road, you pricks! I'm knackered! <laughs> Scotty doesn't know! Scotty doesn't know! Scotty doesn't know! Sorry. <laughs> okay, no, it is. <laughs> That's fine. It is an earworm, and you will be singing it for the next few weeks. Probably it, even longer. It's in there like, it's, real deep like. <laughs> it's one of the main things I remember about this movie. You know, what, 
18 years, 19 years after it's come out. So what's funny is like, uh, as is tradition, a lot of times with the with the movies that we watch, I find things that I have been made aware of, but I didn't know it was from this movie. Miscusey, miscusey. Yeah. I say that all the time, mm-hmm. and apparently I just picked it up from somebody else who said it. Well, we said it in college too. Uh, okay. Whenever we were watching this, because y'all saw it, but I didn't. Especially when we were working at the restaurant, like me and Jake. Okay. Walking around and miscusey. Okay. No. So like, there it is. But like, because I was like, okay, I know that, but I didn't know that. This is funny as hell. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Overall thoughts. It so it certainly had its you know early two thousands uh, cringe moments because you know <laughs> that's how time works. Um, and I'm sorry, y'all. My throat is like being crazy, so I know I sound like bonkers, but it is what it is. Sinus infection. Sinus infection's sick. great. Uh, this is certainly in the same vein as like Road Trip or American Pie and all, all of those, you know. Um, but I, I just tickled me. I was not expecting so many people. I got real jazzed when I saw Matt, da- Matt Damon <laughs> and. Uh, Vinny Jones, that's his name, right? Did I have enough? Vinny Jones. Yeah. Yep. And Boris, the bullet dodger. I don't know his actual name, but like, I don't know if you guys are aware, but Snatch is like my favorite movie. Um, and um, it just made me happy. That's actually the, I don't know if you can see it. We've put some stuff in front of it, but our yeah. movie palette, that's the, Snatch. The movie palette painting up there behind the gizmos and gremlins. That, yeah. So, it's Snatch. <laughs> suffice it to say, I dig that movie. Yes, I was very... Especially uh, when you, I mean, I'm very excited normally to see you watch these movies, but this one, especially when, especially when you're saying, oh, I don't know anybody in this movie. I was like, oh, just, I oh, could not wait for do. Matt Damon to pop on screen. <laughs> um, God, that song is so catchy. Michelle tracks, tracks, tracked and bird, tracked and bird. I don't know why I can't say her name. Um, this is just, I, this is a good time. This is the goofy, stupid comedy that I'm like. All right, this is is a good, this is a good. Okay, Uh, I'll be honest. I was actually a little worried that you wouldn't like it because the director, uh, well, the writers slash directors. There's Jeff Schaefer, uh, Alec Berg, and uh, what's his name, David Mandel. Okay, that's it. They're all three writers and directors on this, but only Jeff Schaefer. Only one of them could get the actual director credit. I'm assuming. Uh, my assumption is is he directed more of the scenes than the gotcha. others. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Uh, but I was worried because he was like the main director on the TV series The League, which you're not a big fan of. I I can see aspects of that. Um, it's so funny because like I am a big fan of literally everyone in the league. Like mm-hmm. all of the all of the actors in that show, I'm like there for it. But I, the the show just doesn't quite hit for me, um, but like Cooper was definitely my least favorite character because you know he's the asshole that you're not supposed to care for. Uh, but he did get his come up. <laughs> he got his come upance, but he got it from Lucy Lawless. So is that Which, really yeah. a come upance? Like no, I mean, no, <laughs> no, it's not. I'm gonna Lucy go Lucy Lawless and some helpers, listen, and some tools that he probably did not care for. Listen, okay, learn how to speak German. That's Let's all know. you got to do. <laughs> Uh, this is one of those movies that's just kind of like all over the place, goofy uh, shenanigans. So I'm going to ask for notes to kind of like wrangle my brain. Again, also on a fair amount of cold medicine. So I I need help. (laughs) Understood. Uh, Well, let me ask you this. What did you think about uh, their like sightseeing trip in Europe? Like all the places they went? I mean, I was sitting here thinking, like, that sounds like a pretty good, you know, uh, route. Like, sounds like they hit some good places. I'd have been on board with it. Yeah. Well, did you... I'm going to go ahead and ask. Did you notice that they actually weren't there? I mean, not necessarily. I assumed they didn't because, my God, to shoot on location in those places has to be... A vast majority of this movie was shot in Prague Uh and streets would be closed off and green screened in the background so they could add in like Big Ben Overlay. and the Eiffel Tower yeah. things like that. I, was just, I just want to know if you noticed it in I, the movie. I didn't notice it but honestly I wasn't looking for it. It's because I wasn't looking for it because I just assumed that it wasn't on location. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean I was looking for it because it was, because I knew about it because it's probably like I don't know 
tenth time or so but I've seen this. Probably more. I mean, we watched it a lot in college. This and like Road Trip and Out Cold and those type of movies back then. You know, the college movies. Uh, oh, also, they kind of method acting. They try to use the term basically uh, as a, as actual high school students would at a party. Uh, the kegs and everything. There was real beer that they were oh, drinking and okay. everything. Oh, and boy. Because they said uh, Jacob Pitts Cooper uh-huh. got pretty drunk, and like he was still pretty drunk, like at that scene where like the guys throw him out of the hot tub uh-huh. behind Scotty, and he gets up. So yeah, it was a bit of that. I don't know if I want to call it method acting, or it's it's something akin to that. Yeah, we'll just like, we'll go with methodish acting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and speaking of Jacob Pitts, I think he was probably somewhat like his character because I read I read behind the scenes that during the nude beach shots mm-hmm. that he would not he would refuse to put his shorts back on. Oh my god. And just to make people like uncomfortable oh. and awkward and like he found it funny. <laughs> Bless his heart. Yeah, he sounds yeah. like a real like a, a Michelle Trachtenberg said, yeah, it made for some real awkward conversations around the craft services table. Yeah, I mm <laughs> believe I would have kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that robot? Like that robot, you know? Air roar. Uh, oh, also, speaking of the nude beach scene, originally there was going to be less nudity. No. Oh. And But the director said once they started filming, they realized it really took away from the comedy. You know, like, to be at a nude beach and have everybody, like, they were going to have people, like, Trying standing around with surfboards yep, and things like yep. that. They're like, no, it would just be much more funny if it was just wall to wall. Just pinks. oops <laughs> all dicks. <laughs> this, it's so crazily appropriate that I chose this. I was just like, oh, it's going to be like a college sex movie. Penises. That'll yep. be appropriate. So appropriate. It is. <laughs> you really like Scotty Doesn't Know, the song, of course. I mean... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's very catchy. Uh, but apparently they got Matt Damon because he was in Europe filming The Brothers Grimm. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah. he was there. So he was able to come do it. And he said that even though he starred in like uh, much larger movies like Saving Private Ryan or the Bourne movies, mm-hmm. that one of the things he gets the most often from people on the streets is they'll just come up to him and go, Scotty doesn't know. Yep. Yep. I mean... Uh, for yeah, like like that has stuck with him and he's, he was probably only there for like a day of filming that's awesome and i love that so much i mean it's it's the easiest thing to call out and to you know and it's lightweight it's not like i loved you in saving private ryan <laughs> like because that's a heavy ass movie like hey this guy doesn't know like i get it i'd, I'd be that yeah. person yeah well yeah of course you would <laughs> of course i would no I uh, see. Oh, so what'd you think about the ending about Scotty and Mika getting together? I mean, for the movie that this is, perfect ending. Okay. <laughs> I, I, it is a goofy, irreverent kind of uh, late teen, early, early college sex comedy. This It was the perfect ending. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Well, the reason I asked, because that was not the original ending. Okay. The original ending was that he professes his love, says, I've come for you, and she turns him down. Oh, see, I was that's what I was assuming. And then they, they part ways, uh, from what I've read, they part ways, you know, on good terms. Mm-hmm. But that was the original, and that's why it does such a quick, like, abrupt cut to the confessional oh. booth. Mm-hmm. But, uh, and that's why they had the green fairy at the end say, you know, this happy ending is... Oh, BS. okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. It's kind of like a little nod to it. Okay, all right, I dig it. I honestly, I'd have been a okay with either one. Like this is not a. This is one of those movies. I'm like, <laughs> just watching it is the satisfaction. The ending doesn't need to be a certain way. <laughs> like, it's the journey, not the destination. You know what I'm saying? Literally. Yeah. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I think that's really all for notes, and we kind of covered everything else in. Uh, in conversation Mm -hmm. is there anything else you wanted to talk about or any parts that you have thought of oh i'm gonna get to you don't worry i'm not gonna (laughs) forget you little buddy even though you disappeared for the movie i had places to be i I gotta had to nap on the floor okay (laughs) um (laughs) i'm actually looking forward to the edit on this because this is one of those dumb movies that you can just kind of have on in the background and and then when you when that part you know comes on you're like yeah, yeah, miss goosey miss goosey um <laughs> so i mean i i'm glad that i've seen this now because i get a lot of the dumb bits that were 
put on in college that I mm-hmm. was just yeah, I'm, nothing in particular. This was this was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. All right. Well, you want to give it a rating? Yeah. Um, I'll give this one. I'll give it an eight for what it is. You know, like this is no masterpiece. This is no grand, you know, example of cinema. But it's a goofy, funny movie, and those are what I enjoy. So yeah, it's an eight. What about you? Uh, I might surprise you. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's probably a six for me. Okay. Like, That's not, I was actually thinking you were going to say six. Yeah. It's not, it doesn't land for me the same way it did back, back when I originally watched it in 2004, yeah. those early years. Uh, but like you said, it's a movie like I would put on in the background yeah. and whenever there's a funny part that I actually find funny coming up, I would yeah. I'm like, but that's the kind of movie it is for me. I think it's because like I put my brain in the headspace because I watched Road Trip a lot. Like I thought that was hilarious when I was that was I I watched that instead of this and like Idle Hands and you know that was sort of my go to goofy movies. Oh, Idle Hands is <laughs> really good. Although um, I haven't seen it in a minute, so I might need to watch it and see how it holds. I up. mean, yeah, but uh, so I kind of just slipped into that headspace, so that's why I think I appreciate this one as much as I do. Um, Pippin, what would you? Pi- Pip, what would you rate it? Girl, you know it's 10 beans. Come on now. Oof. We're gonna throw that leg out there? Okay, buddy. All right. So that's an eight for me, a six for you, mm-hmm. and 10 beans as always. Uh, y'all let us know what you think. If you have any fun behind the scenes tidbits, make sure to drop them in the comments. Let us know. What would you rate it? Um, and yeah, just, you know, we love seeing what y'all have to say. So, you yeah, know, say it. <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed already, come on, push that button, button, do it, <laughs> do it. If you subscribe, it will make me less sick. Oh, so, you no. know, there you go. I don't believe that's how it works, but all right. <laughs> Internet magic. Uh, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I uh, hope you all have a great, great rest of your day. We will see you next time with another first time. Bye. Scotty does it.